this round of 32 picks edition of the Sports Game and Podcast is brought to you by Cut. Cut is a peer-to-peer social betting platform that's U.S.-based and available in 40 states. Head to cut.com, that's K-U-T-T.com, and use promo code SGPN for a 10% deposit bonus. We're also ready by Underdog Fantasy. Play their fantasy pick for a chance to win 100x in NBA, NHL, college basketball, and more. Sign up today using promo code SGPN to get a... 100% deposit match. We're also brought to you by Hall of Fame Bets, the sports betting research platform for parlays, player props, and game lines. Download the Hall of Fame Bets app or visit hofbets.com. Use code SGPN to get 50% off your first month and start making smarter bets today. Sports Gambling Podcast. I'm Sean, second the money green with my partner in picks, Ryan, real money Kramer. What's happening, Kramer? Dog. Oh, I was kicked in the nuts a couple times today. <laughs> Man, uh, it, I think what sums up uh, today the best is just incredible highs, incredible lows, truly just up, down, up, down. Oh man, this is totally going to hit. It doesn't hit. Oh man, this has no chance it comes through. Been a wild ride, but of course, joining us to talk all things college basketball, Colby Dan, a.k.a. Pick Dundee. What's happening, Colby? Hit my largest wager of the day, but uh, my bracket is completely busted because Steve <laughs> Alford. Steve Alford, Steve Alford, Steve Alford. Uh, I just, it, it, it's unbelievable. It's well, just, I, I don't have words. And, I don't have and, words. And, uh, I mean, I have to say for Bowser, who was in the chat furiously hitting all caps, don't do it. Don't go in on Alfred as you're revealing mm. your final four bracket, Colby. We tried to talk some sense to you, but uh, yeah. Oh, joining us as oh, or uh, as well, man, in the box, CJ Sullivan from the Bottom Line Bombs podcast. What's happening, CJ? What's Rock, up? Rocking the man in the box <laughs> shirt. Uh, I was told go. specifically to bring it out by you, Sean. Yes. So I, I, uh, <laughs> I, it's a good look. It's a sharp, it's a sharp shirt, dress sharp. It's already a dated look because all the great fans and fellow C generates that came out there, they all only know me as the bet detective anymore. Yes. I don't even know who the man in the box is. I know. The, 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 the bet detective. Well, you got to get on a couple cases. There's a lot uh, of cases. Bet oh, detective. Today. One in particular Mm -hmm. is uh, Nevada was, uh, what were they up by 16? Uh, No and Mac, you guys are here. What, uh, what was the score? Colby was out wandering around the casino sportsbook (laughs) somewhere else. Mm -hmm. Uh, came back and was he was already touting that Nevada hit and it was, uh, Easy. It was he goes, one of the easiest plays of the day yeah he goes it was never he goes that's why it's a lock that's why they call me Lock Dundee <laughs> never in doubt the LD coming through it like just full lather do you guys remember what the score was when Colby came in to uh, sit down at the booth because it it was. It's easy to see a tide turning and Colby indiv- <laughs> individually turned the tide Noah. Yeah, I have a tweet right here. Colby showed up for the first time during the game <laughs> with 7.36 to go in the second half. Dayton finished the game on a 24-2 to run <laughs> to win by one possession. I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's remarkable that, that Steve Alford is that consistently horrible. It, it's, it, it's, it's, I mean, this, they were way better than Dayton. They yeah. were way better than Dayton. They were up the entire game. I mean, and then in the most pivotal spots, Steve Alford goes, does he go to Blackshear? No. Does he go to Jared Lucas? No. He goes to Davison. What are we doing here? Worst <sighs> coaching job of the season. I asked if you wanted to come. Do you want to come down and sweat a little bit? He said, no need. No need <laughs> yeah, to sweat. Let's go. Let's hit Starbucks. We're dancing with the Elvis mascot. Yes. We got a little schwitz. Is this when you got, up. Is this when you guys took a break to go get your uh, your facials? We and got the facial. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I paid a resort fee. I'm getting the full resort fee at the Westgate. Well, and, That's and, crying out loud. And how was how was the resort uh, Westgate been treating you? I assume you check in pretty easy. No issues with the room. No issue. I had had. A, <laughs> they wanted to charge me for the early check in that Westgate, which of course they, they didn't even have a room ready. They just wanted to charge me. They just wanted to charge. <laughs> All right, put your bags. So I got the room, resort fee. Uh, had a little issue with the Wi-Fi. 
<laughs> they they text me, you know, the concierge. They text you, yeah, well, actually, the Wi-Fi doesn't work. It's a, it's all a robot, you know. Okay, call call operator. We'll set you up with tech support. All right, this this will go well. <laughs> I uh, so you just get to Vegas and you're on tech support. I'm on tech. I'm online with tech support. What resort are you calling from? What country you're calling from? I also got okay. <laughs> all right, okay. Uh, I'm in America. <laughs> I'm, at yes. the, I'm at the Westgate. It's March Madness. <laughs> I need Wi-Fi and. Uh, they ran me through the rigmarole, resetting, different numbers, blah, blah, blah. And then, they go, okay, I'm getting, I'm getting a bulletin on my desk, she said. Uh, apparently, it's a tech issue, she said. Yeah, I know. Your tech support. That's, that's, <laughs> that's, why, why, I'm calling. Right, that's why I'm calling you for tech support to fix a tech issue. I know it's a tech issue. Yeah, right. Like I said, it's a tech issue. So here's the, here's the reference number of the call that to, to, to document that it occurred. And uh, we'll call you back. Maybe with that, when we get an update, just when, when the, just fix the Wi-Fi. <laughs> just, just set that up. Well, all right. Then I'll, uh, we'll find out through your address. So we're penning needles. I don't know. The only one who's been in my room so far has been Kobe. <laughs> He's had two FaceTime calls. He's had a nap. Yeah, <laughs> I knew he got. So, I knew he. I knew he snuck a nap. In. It's, it's uh, a great ten minutes. Ten minutes. It nap. was. It was a Japanese power nap. It worked out well. And that was because my wife was at the grocery store, Sean. Uh, I was supposed to well, FaceTime, but, 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 but the room's fantastic. CJ, we we did have a bunch of winners. Yeah. Uh, I was not uh, admittedly on Duquesne. I I thought people. Hold on. Hello. I thought. <laughs> whoa. <laughs> talent uh, break right. there. Uh, sorry, CJ. No, I got, no. got a little that, distracted. That, that's this how thing. fender benders happen. <laughs> Duquesne. No, I, I also I watch them and listen to you at the same time. I'm a professional. I know. I need to I get like. like would it would it look weird if I have a rear view mirror <laughs> on my uh, on my mic stand? Uh, Duquesne money line. CJ electric moment in the sports book. You're a Duquesne alumni. I'm a Duquesne Duke. Uh, first, of course, Norm Nixon in the house today, and I was a little worried. Second game of the morning there, 9.50 uh, tip off. I landed at 9.40, rushed over here before half. They were already up eight. And uh, what do we see but a room full of Mormons support. A lot of BYU support <laughs> when I came in. It really was. It was, really, it, it was amazing. It How was much? great after, uh, after the game ended. Yeah. CJ was walking by. He's like, yeah, I'm going to go go find some Mormons to yell at. Yeah, <laughs> just well, like, just some sister wives, some yeah. sad sister wives. Uh, Multiple crying <laughs> sister wives. I didn't get too personal like Bowser did. <laughs> Speaking of him in the chat room, says, out of all the wives, why did you bring out the ugly ones? And I mean, which I, uh, you know, I think I'm 20. 2024. Was, I don't know. That was the <laughs> least. That was the least offensive thing Bowser said <laughs> by, by, by a well, wide and, margin. And, and perfect transition to Cut.com, where you can get them to list any sort of bet. Uh, Bowser called out fellow podcaster Joe Rogan, uh, saying yeah. that he could beat him up and choke him out. <laughs> uh, I, we, we'll we'll see if we can get this fight sanctioned. If we can, we can get the odds listed over at Cut.com. They'll list anything. It's the ultimate. Mm. Put your money where your mouth is. Kramer, I know you listed a, a very generous price for a Gonzaga money line, or you were playing the Gonzaga money line to entice people to take the opposite action. Of course, being the sharp cut user you are, they got cut because uh, Gonzaga rolled in a big way. If you haven't set up your cut account, what are you waiting for? Uh, a great way to save a lot of juice over at cut.com, promo code SGP, and get that 10% deposit bonus. Uh, you got a Casey Kasem style shout out here to Twizzler12. Hmm. Uh, he he was the sucker who. T uh, by the way, I juiced up the money line on McNeese up to plus two fifty. You couldn't find that in the wild. Mm. Uh, and this sucker took it, and he's now bleeding face down uh, in the dirt, uh, like the guy that we learned about last night, who was murdered by a cop. Who was oh, gonna all time great forensic files. I'm bummed I fell asleep. It was it was one of the few I didn't uh, I haven't actually seen of forensic files, but it was it was pretty wild. Long, long story short, there was a uh, an arson involved in this murder uh, mystery, uh, and the guy who committed the arson was going to use the insurance money on his entrance into the Pro Bowling Association. <laughs> this was great. This was great. This was the moment. The moment they became suspicious was the, the entire house burned down except his bowling trophies, which had been moved to the shed out back. He had some, like, all his personal documents and valuables, a.k.a. the bowling trophies, were conveniently moved to the outdoor shed prior to the fire. So, again. Uh, <laughs> I, love, I love how that relates to the Justin McNeese money line. So that, was, that was beautiful transition. It really Because I cut that motherfucker. No, absolutely. I get it. I, I, put love him in, it. I put him in the back of my patrol car. He was never seen again. One of, one of my uh, favorite moments was watching the money line play though today of 
the Oakland Grizzlies. Oh, I mean, yeah. This was for for uh, for some of the losses I had. The Oakland money line really yeah. um, unbelievable. That just that carried the day. Scamping ahead. <laughs> But yeah, so that was amazing. That was obviously the play there. Before, before Duquesne was a nice appetizer to start the day off yeah. with a nice money yeah. line. Yeah. Yep. Who they would be in a pillar to post, they stand strong. But then that Oakland money line. But before, besides the Long Beach, which might be the play of the day, the oh, Long Beach nice. covering the 20 oh, and a half. Oh. But the Oakland money line was fantastic. I would just like to shout out CJ for rocking the Jack Golgi haircut. Yeah, yes. absolutely. Well, it, it, it's doing. It's going under and over the headphones right now. It's just <laughs> it's in control. I have to. I have to ta- taper it down every. Um, <laughs> but uh, speaking every commercial of break. Uh, hair related and Bowser related, he did say in a in a vulnerable moment he was uh, envious of my hair. <laughs> <laughs> well, Ryan does. Ryan does have a full head of hair and just wastes yeah. it with his boring ass uh, buzz cut. <laughs> I got another Ben Roethlisberger today. Thank you. Very oh much. wow. Okay. Uh, well, was that when you were uh, killing it with the uh, Steelers over on the NFL? slot machine nope that was unrelated the slot that was a slot i did uh i was walking out to the bathroom and i just see uh <laughs> bowser and ryan just like giddy with joy yeah uh you know inhaling cigarettes watching uh watching their little piggy slot machine like <laughs> you won't believe it this uh this asian guy he fed the pig and it was it was, the pig was so big and he just walked away he didn't have any more money i came right in i'm like I was uh, I was sniping. I was <laughs> slot you're a, sniping. You're a slot sniper, right? I'm a slot sniper. <laughs> uh, but to, to going back to CJ's point, uh, the Long Beach State cover. Unbelievable. And I, I, I bet it at Circa. The sheet said 20. I go up to bet it. Luckily, I got the 20 and a half. Great hook. Uh, which uh, I would have bet it at 20, but they gave me yeah. 20 and a half. And it came down to those last possessions. The entire sports book was just sweating that it was out. Back it was in fourth. It it was shout amazing. out to Jason Williams who just passed no, by. Nice. Right? Yeah. Former Duke Blue Devil. I don't, I don't, you know. He's actually from Plainfield, New Jersey. Is that a is, sign to bet on the Dukes? That might be. That might be. And I want to ask you guys one question. I know we're all over the it's place Jay here. It's Jay Williams, though. Yeah, no, not, not to be confused, the guy who shot the chauffeur on his bed and a, a, threw yeah. his clothes in the pool to try to clean it up. <laughs> he also had dump trucks and shit. He was shit. being a good friend. Thirty-four million dollars is the buyout price, essentially. Thirty-three and, and rounding up mm-hmm. would be to thirty-four for John Calipari. Do you think Big Blue Nation comes up with thirty-four million dollars in the next, say, seventy-two hours? Yes. So yeah. you, so run, run a Kickstarter for that. I, I think he's immediately his, out of town. His buyout is like $14 million more than any other coach. It's insane. CJ, you think so? I mean, they'd have to sell a few horses, I guess. And, uh, <laughs> can, you horses ima- can, you, can you imagine how... And then what, he goes over to Louisville? <laughs> oh, that would, be, that would be great. Can you imagine how insufferable Stoops will be? If Calipari <laughs> leaves, right. Mac, uh, Mac, what do you well, think? Well, real quick, before, yeah. as we bring Mac on, because I also have a moment from uh, today. That it, it wasn't related to a backdoor cover. It was just related to watching two West Virginia fans greet each other. Mm. I don't know. I'd say about 20, uh, we'll say 10 meters apart, 10 <laughs> yards for the football fans out there. You just hear a loud, eat shit, pit. Yes. <laughs> right there, right there and on I, the brand, and then, baby. And then like a, a, a great forearm down the baseline, you hear a, eat shit, pit. <laughs> the next thing you know, you had somebody in section 202 over there ch- chanting each shit pit. So it, it, it lives on, baby. We, and, uh, almost, almost as beautiful as the theater wide fuck Kentucky oh, chant. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That, 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 I, uh, that, I, I got that started. You did get it started. Yeah. That was like, felt pretty good. Which is the modern starting the wave at a football stadium. <laughs> yeah. You started fuck a, Kentucky. And it, it started growing. Like some people yeah. are laughing. Next thing you know, people are just getting into it because you either bet on Kentucky or you hate Kentucky. Yeah. It was a perfect you know, combination. <laughs> It, it kind of <laughs> sums up the vibe of the room. It, right. it is that sports thing where, like, in a normal situation, if I stood up and went like this, no. CJ's never standing no, up. And co- but if he's at a baseball game, all of a sudden Cringing. he's standing up, raising his hands, yeah. copying me. <laughs> so right, the cheer is the same. You hear the... Mm-hmm. You're like, it's like hearing the slot noise. You're, we're trained dogs. We just have to know response. It's Pavlovian at this um, point. Um, but I, there's one other thing I would say. that I find it hilarious that we had the... the the Pac-12 football season, probably their best football season as the 12-team conference this past year in its final in its final season, and now we have their undefeated in the NCAA tournament. <laughs> it is the great. only good thing is that Washington State and Oregon State make all that money for every time Oregon wins. You or, do like that? I think yeah. it's I think it's hilarious. It's Let's a, go. It's a hilarious thing, Mac. If you had to set a price over at Cut.com, will mm. John Calipari get fired? What would you set the uh, set the odds at? Um, probably minus. Oh, one wow. twenty-five. 
I mean, mm. he it's had, like a slight favor. Wow. Right? Yeah. He, he still has it, a lot it, of juice there, and yeah, it's a lot I of money. It's kind it, of a it reaction. is, but I mean, the reality, he hasn't made it past the first weekend mm-hmm. since before COVID. He hasn't been to the Final Four in over a decade. Yeah. He's that, at fucking Kentucky. He's got five to six uh, pros on his team. Shit, Tubby Smith was better at Kentucky than John Calipari has. Mm. And, and the they most ran him recent out. losses were what, St. Peter's? Yes. And then Oakland. Oakland. Oh, Oakland. Oakland. The list of teams yes. that have more wins over the last, you know, X number of NCAA mm. tournaments, uh, pretty remarkable. I mean, you could throw, I think Noah showed me something. Or you could throw Oral Roberts on the pile. Yeah. And Where it, does he go if he gets fired? Uh, well, West I, Virginia. Oh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> maybe, maybe. He's from uh, Pittsburgh. Yeah. Um, uh, well, P- Duquesne's opening. Duquesne yeah. did. Oh, no, we're, we're, getting, we're getting Huggy Bear. He's returned to the scene <laughs> of the crime. Returned <laughs> to the scene of the crime. Same intersection. <laughs> empty out the garbage bag full of empties. Yeah. We'll take you no problem here at, Duquesne, at the Palumbo Center. Cal- Calipari to Duquesne would be interesting. Mm-hmm. I mean, or- uh, uh, he is a Yenzer. Another thing today that stood out to me was that the SEC, uh, Greg Sankey's the one you know, saying we need a 96 team tournament. We got to get the Missouri and LSU in. One and three today, the SEC wins. Yeah, terrible. And their one win was what, a 215. Mm-hmm. And, and once yeah. again, we're, we're idiots. Just bet on the Pac. We can't do it anymore in the future, but the Pac 12, no. once again, <laughs> I just was gonna shows say, up. We should update the March Madness Commandments to add bet on the Pac 12, but I don't, I, it does look like <laughs> it's going to. You can do Pac bet two? on the Pac 2. The, ba- the Pac 12 was on the tablet that we dropped and shattered. Uh, yeah. Fading the uh, major conference tournament winners, not amazing. Uh, first half unders, Ryan, well, give, give the folks an update. What are we sitting at? Uh, the, we went two and two in the first four, we went six and 10 today. Mm. So eight and twelve overall. To shout. So just so you know, if you are part of the community that's reaching out to let us know that you don't know if you can ride with it any longer, yeah, the trend's, <laughs> trend's broken. I, I, right. I don't. It went one and three. I'm out. Word I, got out. I would say this. That's fine with us. Yes. Mm. <laughs> Get off the bus. I mean, also, also I mean, we had we had two. I mean, the South Carolina oh. game. Talk me through that one. They were down <laughs> two. Because I, I, I was getting, we were getting our schwitz then, but we were, I, I we was, were getting text alerts. Bet detective needs to be on this. A lot of cases. Talk me through. There, this. There were two talk bu- me through the trauma I, of I the South Carolina. I honestly didn't think they had enough time to get a shot off. Uh, they were the the uh, under was cashing by two points. Mm-hmm. I think we're talking about one point seven seconds left on the inbounds. Probably, I would say three quarters of a length shot right. off the glass. Right in the net. <laughs> it's like, come on. And well, then we have happened. another buzzer yeah, beater. Well, what was the other game? Um, Wa- Washington. T- Texas Tech. Texas, Texas Tech. Tech. Yeah. yeah, that one. And, right. and, of course, both situations, the team I'm on hits the three to crush the first half under, and I'm talking about myself, well, at least that's good for the bet. And then they both uh, completely <laughs> fall apart in the second fucking half. So, yeah. 251, 185, and 16 is the updated record. So, okay. I mean, that's a lot of – if you went one and three today and you're scared off – Good. I hope you don't have a family Good. you have Take to protect. The- <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, and how about the Kansas Jayhawks getting up to, what, 22? They blow that, and yeah. then uh, the refs blow a clean block that would have gave Sanford the ball. I know you had Sanford money line. I saw that. That was hard. Oh, my God. Not, like, a, not only did I have Sanford money line, I had a parlayed with Oakland money line oh. for a 24-1 to one shot. Oof. Well, a horrible and then, call. And then we're grabbing, <laughs> we're grabbing some food uh, right before the show. We're huddled around. We're trying to watch the game on the phone. Uh, the end of this Drake game. And, and then Colby's like, oh, you know, actually, this is a really good story for Washington State. This kid was battling illness. <laughs> and I said, Colby, can you wait till I've lost my bet and then give me the heartwarming story? Well, I mean, you should know. The Pac-2, there being, you know, Washington State is always good wanna, to us. We're always know. good to us. I don't want to be yelling at a Guy who just beat stage four cancer. Well, right. so to, tell me that after the game's over, Colby, and then I'll feel a little bit better. He died like right when the game was coming down, and right was when Drake was fumbling the bag. I like to put that put, put that weight on you, buddy. <laughs> hey, was, I'm just being a good friend. There was hey. an article in this week's Washington Post or something like, if you don't root for Washington State, you have no soul or something like that. <laughs> and I was like, I am not reading this before I bet on Nevada. I mean, uh, Drake. <laughs> Drake <yeah. laughs> All right, Kramer, you want to? Uh, I wish I did. Hey, <laughs> underdogfantasy.com. If you guys haven't signed up already, make uh, make March Madness a little spicier here with the spicy plays over on Underdog Fantasy. Higher, lower on your favorite college basketball fantasy projections. You can uh, win up to 100x. That's right. <laughs> 
put in five bucks, you get some higher and lowers, right? Next thing you know, you're cashing 500 and you get the free deposit match up to $100 when you use the promo code SGPN. Underdogfantasy.com or download the Underdog Fantasy app. Noah, you got anything uh, over there? Underdog Fantasy uh, picks you like tonight? So I gave, or this, tomorrow? I gave this one out on our live show on Tuesday at the bar at Horse Trailer Hideout. Mm. Uh, I like Danny Wolves higher than uh, 20 and a half points in rebounds. He's averaging over 23 and a half per game this season. I think Yale can hang with Auburn. I don't know if they can win, but I think they cover. And I think Danny Wolf is a big reason for that. All right, He's let's go. Yep. Danny Wolf, underdogfantasy.com, promo code SGPN. Kramer, what do we got for Saturday's action? Almost forgot one last bit from this morning because it was so yeah. long ago, I almost forgot. It does there, feel like we're time The traveling. first game of the day, uh, the ass beating that Michigan State put on Hale State. Oh, that was great. There was a guy sitting in our proximity who allegedly had 50 grand on the first half under <laughs> and he was living and dying. I mean, I, I, I kind of wanted him to be there the whole day cheering on the first half unders yeah. with us. His energy was amazing. Uh, I doubt he had 50 grand on it, but he, I mean, he certainly was every time there was a bad shot, he stood up and did like the, the, the flex. I mm. was, I was wearing a first half under shirt and he got a picture. Wow. I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't wait to see that. Uh, <laughs> it's like uh, you're a mascot for him. All right. Two quick updates for you go, yes. before we get to Saturday. One you missed. Cause one you guys missed here coming oh. in tonight. Uh, How dare you. And that was the public. Um, and you guys were there for yeah. this. The absolute. And uh, <laughs> just anarchy that happened when they. The Drake game, which was great. The Drake Washington State game was great. It was oh, on the TV. TV with the, uh, no, oh. it was on with the audio. And then all of a sudden, they just turned it off and put on the Kansas game, which had full second half. Kansas is up 20, up 15. Collective just booing. <laughs> <laughs> Cowbells booing. And the guy just didn't care. Nope, Kansas. We're, you're getting it. All of it. And it was 70% commercials. Spike Lee and Barkley screaming. <laughs> Meanwhile, silence in this amazing Drake Washington yep. State. It never left three points. And I, and I kind of respected the uh, TV VJ just not not <laughs> like giving in to what 99% of the people in that building wanted. If you've never been to the Westgate to watch games, this has happened. Yeah. Uh, Sean and I have been there for football, maybe basketball, but whenever there's a TV malfunction, oh, the crowd it is <laughs> yeah. angry. And then it goes right to an advertisement for their app. What? Like, well, then they also have this like uh, rock DJ yeah. uh, that's uh, <laughs> like calls right. out prizes and stuff. <laughs> hey guys, look at me. I'm the he, he called himself the big fat guy up front. <laughs> uh, we're raffling a couple of koozies and t-shirts. Come on down, give us your ticket. And, uh, yeah, we rock. Pr prize, <laughs> prizes used to be a bit better. I, don't yeah. forget, you can hear me on Thursdays at uh, 10 <laughs> p.m. on WMAR. All right, it's more rock. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe we have times yet for the games. Uh, I, I, I think we may have just yeah. Check just uh, look up Matt Norlander on Twitter. He put out the graph. Yeah, because I just saw that uh, here. Let me, let me send it over that. so I read yeah. them off in order. Um, I do have all the all all the other. There has been some interesting line moves early as well. Um, are you sending me something, Colby? Yes, I'm grabbing. I'm, I'm grabbing it right now. Give me uh, a while while you while you do that, uh, I will add w one more thing. I just uh, Ryan Hasty in the chat has twice uh, sent a message wanting to make sure we get max takes on all the games. So he <laughs> he, he doesn't he doesn't like no. he doesn't like the uh, few words that Mac has said. Mac, Mac is a man of few words. Yeah. Come on. Efficiency. Uh, just, I, just texted you. I will say he's a little bit tilted and steamed right now from watching NC State dominate oh. for three hours. Watching Mac watch NC State <laughs> was let, pretty Ed incredible. Was did, he, did did it? Was there like the shoulder flex thing yeah. where he's really? <laughs> yeah, 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 it was just wrong. And his TV was locked in on on the corner. I'm like, just face any other game. <laughs> but then this game, I'm trying to spin his chair around. <laughs> before <laughs> before we got uh, ready to watch the games, this, or like on the flight out, I I go. Ryan, I'm kind of glad uh, West Virginia is not in the tournament this year. <laughs> Remember how angry Matt got? And, and it was that like was, that was a 9 like a.m. game. Yeah, game. <laughs> it was the like, first game of the day. Hey, hey. You and I are both glad that they're not in the tournament. I didn't need that for my Mets and the other team. I'm glad Pitt's not in it because if I had to do oh. with Pitt winning again, I might have fucking begged my head off. <laughs> <laughs> I was right there with Mac though because I was sitting on a couple of nice futures for Texas Tech, and they yeah. had a little bit of a cakewalk after Oakland, my my Golden Grizzlies win. But you know, his Texas NC Tech, State's Final Four bound. They're the Syracuse of last. Don't of you years ago. They are that. Final Four bound. In my presence.
presence. Give All right, look. Give in. Oakland is the team that's going to go to the final four. Submit, Cope. This is happening. <laughs> <laughs> if you DJ like it or not. Submit. America's yeah. sweetheart. Just surrender to your, I mean, surrender to uh, Demetri Hill Jr., whatever, Escalade Jr. <laughs> oh, love the do. reference. Yes. Love the reference. Real, uh, real nightmare scenario for Colby on a, bunch, uh, on a bunch of fronts today. It's the wrong, happening. The wrong wolf pack won. Uh, it's, it's a real disaster. Oh, there was, uh, although someone did, uh, I, I could have sworn there was an ECU-related singing uh, incident that happened. Yes. <laughs> and I believe Yes. Me. All right, so uh, we do have times. I was mistaken. Saturday. Nine. I am an East Carolina fan. <laughs> Nine forty-five on the West Coast uh, on CBS. Uh, we're we're heading to Salt the Salt Lake. Interesting. They're they're starting the day with the West the Western game. So twelve forty-five uh, East Coast. Nine forty-five West Coast. We're heading to Salt Lake for the West Region seven-two matchup. It's Dayton and Arizona. Mm-hmm. Naturally, we all went against, uh, or most of us went against Dayton, so they did advance. Uh, Arizona, th- they uh, carried the Pac-12 flag nicely. I don't know how I feel about this as the first game. I do think Arizona is is the play, but minus nine, minus two or four ten on the money line, plus three twenty for Dayton. One hundred and fifty is the total. No, we don't do the total, the first halves in the second round. Uh, no one's going to ask us this because uh, it's not doing so well uh, right now. But no, you do not play the first half unders in the second round. Colby, Arizona, Dayton. What are we doing? Uh, Dayton shouldn't have won today, man. Mm-hmm. As much as I want to take Dayton here because I love their program, this is an Arizona home game, basically. Yeah. This, this place is going to be just filled with Wildcat fans. Wow. And, and, I don't think they'll be able to have the same magic. Steve Alford's not coaching Arizona, although Tommy <laughs> Lloyd's has <laughs> issues in the postseason, so maybe there's some hope for the Flyers. But no, I'm I'm on Arizona. I think they're going to be able to just score too much. You know, they they just they, what, some of the most important things they did in the offseason was bringing you know Caleb Love and, and Johnson from from San Diego State, two guys that have played in the national championship that I think you know really kind of changed the character of this team. Uh, so I'm all over Arizona minus the points here. They're the better defensive team. They're the better offensive team. Uh, and they're in, they're used to altitude. They play in Salt Lake city. They, you know, so they're used to this, uh, and with the home crowd behind them, wildcats get it done. Yeah. I mean, I, I thought long beach state was, uh, like a decent team and playing actually pretty well. Uh, you know, you look at that first part of the first half, they were hanging around. There was parts where they were up by a little bit. Uh, but Arizona just dominated them. Mm-hmm. Like they, 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 you know, figured out what they need to do for their offense, how they need to get their shots up. Uh, their defense really turned it on the second half as well. I think, I think Arizona is going to roll. I'm with you, Colby. I, I just don't see much out of this Dayton team. Very fortunate to move on. Yeah. You get the home court advantage. The three ball looks pretty good for Zona. So I, I think they roll. CJ, what are you doing? Yeah, this definitely seems like a 13 point win. I mean, I wanted to fade Dayton anyway. And Today didn't, obviously didn't change anything. But, I mean, <laughs> no. They could have taken it. I mean. Whatever. Yeah. Was that actually Dayton or was that Steve Alford? Yeah. I tend to think it was just Steve right. Alford. Nevada could have done yeah. shot clock violations for the last six <laughs> minutes. But I do have a bad detective real quick. Yes. About this entire Salt Lake region, which was brought out, which you didn't talk about. The Nets. The net On these what courts. What is up with that? They're like old peach <laughs> baskets. The ball would get stuck in there like one of those old street balls. And it would take forever for it to get out. A lot of unders, a lot of slowing it down, a lot of fast pace. There's definitely conspiracy. And the unders did hit instead of the other two games, the overs hit. But <laughs> but the Nets were a little looser. Yeah. So this is the first game. I mean, this is they literally got to grab the ball out of the net. You can't take it and just run with it. There was something definitely going on. And that's how Long Beach State was then they got worn down. Either way, I still like Arizona. But keep an eye on these Salt Lake Nets. <laughs> Mac, what is Team Ryan doing in this game? Uh, yeah, I'm going to lay the point. I, I actually thought Arizona kind of played like shit today, and they still were able to win. First by half, we'll I thought it they out. played good second yeah. half. They, well, I think it speaks to how explosive this team yeah, is. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. true. They kind of went through the motions um, because they were tight. They lost to Princeton last year. Yeah. Yeah. They were nervous, They and, and they didn't want to be the 215 to lose again. Um, I think they roll here. Dayton, I mean, that was a miracle win. I yeah. like to fade that, and I agree with CJ. It looked like they were playing on a fucking blacktop where the ball kept getting <laughs> yeah. stuck. I'm like, right. hey, hey, fix that net, man. It's an NCAA tournament, not the freaking MEAC. <laughs> Noah, what are you doing here? Dayton, <laughs> Arizona. Yeah, I'm just kind of compiling all of the handicaps that have already been said. I just don't think that the Arizona faithful are going to allow the Wildcats to lose mm-hmm. in the first weekend. So uh, mm-hmm. give me the Arizona Wildcats to win and cover. It does seem like the um, the game could 
if, if Dayton's going to keep it close, they're going to they're going to get hot from behind the three point line. It's the weakness of the Arizona defense, but. Arizona has a massive rebounding edge here, a massive size edge here. Uh, we, we've seen a couple games like this where the, the, the North Carolina comes to mind. The size edge eventually grinds the other team down. And what, what looked to be a close game at times in the first half turns into a 27, 28 point game. So uh, I don't think it gets that big. I'm laying the points with Arizona because, uh, Shauna, if you, if you don't remember, I, although I don't root for my bracket, Arizona is a team that I picked in my bracket. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't root for my brother. Right, Which well, bracket? Which Thank bracket? You. Game uh, number two. Again, this is a full standalone game. So <laughs> if you're sleeping in on Saturday, you're only going to miss this one because the next one's at 12.15 p.m. on the West Coast. Uh, so we're, they're playing a doubleheader. Do they normally do this, Colby? Yeah. Doubleheader in Salt Lake City before any other games. Gonzaga, the five seed. Kansas, the four seed. Gonzaga is laying three and a half points here. Minus 180 on the money line. Kansas plus 150. 151 and a half is the total. Uh, this is simple. I'm, uh, this, is, this is just delicious. This Gonzaga team looks amazing. Mm -hmm. And I think Kansas, I mean, they almost blew that game. They should have blown that game. Yeah. And they don't have their best player. Yada, yada, yada. Lay the points. I love the chalk. Colby? Yeah. Uh, look, I mean, I, I took Gonzaga to go to the Final Four, so uh, hopefully they don't get Alford. But um, uh, it, it's it's a it's to me just a they're playing better basketball right now. Kansas, you look at Kansas and the, I, a I, they haven't looked like Kansas all year to me. Yeah. Then you add in the McCullough injury, which is gigantic. Part of my handicap on taking Gonzaga out of this region was I liked I liked the setup. I like getting Kansas without Kevin McCullough. And if it wasn't for a ridiculous call down the stretch tonight, they might not even be playing Kansas. So, yeah, I'm all over Gonzaga here. I'm curious to see the fan battle. Will Kansas, because uh, Kansas fans will, will travel. So I'm, I'm curious to see what this is like. I think Kansas will probably have a slight edge. But, um, yeah, I'm still, uh, the, the Zags are playing better basketball than Kansas right now. We saw them win at Rupp. We saw them win in Morega. Uh, they get it done in Salt Lake City against Kansas. Yeah, I mean, how can you go against his Gonzaga team right now? I, I know, you know, they were decent-sized favorites, but they were uh, they were uh, never losing that game, and uh, I think they came in with the chip on their shoulder, you know. We'll see what happens with, um, you know, with the uh, St. Mary's uh, tomorrow night, but, or, yeah, tomorrow night, all these days are blending together, but uh, I, I think St. Mary's, the fact that they, you know, beat Gonzaga in the WCC Conference Championship, that was kind of like, hey, we did it. We but now Gonzaga, everyone's doubting them. They're flying under the radar. Mm -hmm. Maybe not some, I, I, I guess my only concern is who's taking Kansas in this game. That's the only thing that scares me off it. But uh, yeah, all in on Gonzaga here. CJ, what are you doing? Yep, I'm with you, Smash Play. This is a different Gonzaga team because they are peaking. Smash. They're peaking at the right time, unlike usually when they're usually coming down after having a huge like 30 win season or something like that. So, um, so this is like Mark Few driving to the lake yes. house, not driving home to the lake house. <laughs> I know. I hope he focuses. I know he's very concerned about the Long Beach State coach not having insurance <laughs> and uh, having me go on the Cobra plan and making up class of cla <laughs> class act. I mean, that's illegal, Mark Few. None of this is true. But anyway, uh, no. I love Gonzaga, and I, I think this line is small because Kansas, Kansas did look good until they blew that That's game also in a 10-point lead. I mean, you know, because everyone was against but Kansas. I, I just they, think McCuller, though. Is, oh, for sure. Is, no, is, that's, I, think yeah. that's why I think we're getting great value in this. I think, yeah. I think this is a double-digit win for Gonzaga. Mac, yeah, don't um, adjust my pick for me. I forgot that we're on the same team, and I already <laughs> exposed what I like. We, we're on the same side. Nice. Right? If, if you look at Kansas, too, with the Big 12 out scheduled, there's always Saturday and then Big Monday. Kansas, whenever they had the Big Monday game, they ate shit. They had the last game tonight. This mm -hmm. is an early game on Saturday. They have no depth. They're done. Yeah. I think Gonzaga's is going to blow them out. Nice. They, they were yes. lucky to get by tonight. They had a week to prepare for the press. All out effort. God is win. And they're going to get blown out um, on Saturday by the Zags. That's a, that's a Big 12 college experience handicap. Yeah, right? that was yeah. beautiful. Mm. That was mm. beautiful. We got some Big 12 Kansas. scheduling nuggets. <laughs> uh, yes. Yeah, I, well... Also, the sprinkle of him watching NC State was watching Hunter Dickinson, too. He was <laughs> flopping Every other around. Word, pussy. Yeah. Pussy. God, I hate this guy. 
You never should have taken him, Bill. <laughs> really well, that's, like, that's like what we didn't talk about uh, in Dante yeah. uh, over at Oregon. <laughs> just, I mean, when he got lightly bumped in the throat, it was like, <laughs> ah, I know. it looked like a guy drank poison. He's like, ah, <laughs> ah. He did that so he, many times. He had multiple that, instances where he's like, ah, ah. Like, how I've never seen dominate? anything like that uh, in all my years of watching <laughs> basketball. In general, like that guy. We talk about it on every preseason episode. Oh, it hurts. He's like, made of glass. It, it, he's Samuel Jackson's character in Unbreakable, <laughs> right? Like, this is Mr. Glass. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah but just, he, but then he, the next play is running down the court full speed, dunking uncontested. Like, yeah. yeah. Ah, ah. <laughs> Noah, what are you doing here? Uh, yeah, I like Max uh, handicap here. Going up against the Big 12, he doesn't yeah. do that very often, so you know he's going with his head and not his heart. <laughs> um, <laughs> and also, uh, I just want to go off of Colby's handicap. I think Gonzaga has the crowd here. Uh, watching the final couple minutes against Samford, Gonzaga mm. was fucking loud. Yeah. yeah. Cheering for Samford compared to Kansas fans. That's, sure. that's that John so. Stockton blood money that's he's in Salt Lake City. <laughs> so, you know? Late with the Zags. <laughs> and Arizona fans will root for Gonzaga because of Tommy Lloyd and Mark Field. That's oh, true. Yeah. That is true. Yeah. yeah. Kansas road game. All right. Game number three, 230 on the West Coast. We're heading to Charlotte, North Carolina, where North Carolina mm -hmm. and Michigan State face off. North Carolina, minus four, minus 185 on the money line. Michigan State, plus 155. 139 and a half is the total here in the West region. Smash! I'm not sure how. First, My first thought when I saw this opener, this was one of the first second round games to open. I Sorry, know, Ryan, my lock button's stuck I, over here I, on the soundboard. I know board. Sean is, is stuck in his ways, and you can't always teach an yeah. uh, old dog new tricks. So I know where he's going to be on this game. But w this line seems awfully short mm. for I, North Carolina in Carolina. I was waiting for the bet detector to do the Ace Ventura. Right? Because <laughs> what is this line right here? What is it, this line? It doesn't smell yeah. right. I'm sniffing out this line. <laughs> Making sure there's no fentanyl on this, and we're going to just a pure, clean mom and pop. This cocaine. is in Charlotte, though, man. This I know is it's a... in Charlotte, but I mean, it's just it's just the way Izzo was today, and the way he was classic Izzo, and it's just the, what that narrative is. And Carolina's a vulnerable one seed, and everyone was thinking that. So we were talking, we were watching, like we can't wait till this line comes out. We wanted a midway to uh, pound oh, yeah. it, you know. I thought it'd be six and a half. You called it a four. It even opened a two and a half at circa, yeah, which is pretty Mich wild. Michigan State is. 23 and 7 in the second game of a NCAA tournament weekend. Case mm. closed. Tom mm. Izzo and Sparty roll. They win outright. <laughs> uh, Michigan State all I was uh, fit, was 15 and 11 as a lower seeded team. Mm. Now 16 and 11 as a lower seeded team. So uh, I, I I think he was getting his team ready for the you know he they were playing well in the Big Ten conference tournament yeah. as well. It's not like this is completely shocking, but. Uh, Izzo builds these teams for March, and it seems like they've kind of figured it out. <sighs> UNC is good, but uh, how can you not take Tom Izzo in four points? I'll tell you why you can't. Oh, here, yeah. we go. Yeah. Yeah. here we go. How about Sparty's 4-12 and 12 all time against Carolina, including 0-5 in the NCAA tournament, and it's in Charlotte? All right. Tar Heels, get it done. And they're Lay. not playing Mississippi State when it got cold, as one of C. Jenner said, is a absolute hillbilly Virginia <laughs> squad when they can't make a shot. Um, they were bad. They were bad. Mississippi State was one of my plays today, so the Duquesne was, kind of rinsed that off when I was, you know, got off the plane. Like, oh, okay, of, of course Izzo's doing this. You know, of, <laughs> of course I fell for it. You know, just sick of hearing about it. Um, I'm going to fade him again, though, because that line is so short in Charlotte, I think uh, – I, and, and to watch Bowser unload his account on Sparty kind of oh, no. made me, oh, no. me want to oh, no. say, you know what, baby? <laughs> and, and, and can case, confirm. In case right. you were wondering if those stats that I rattled off were pre-Izzo, Izzo's 3-9 and nine against Carolina, including 0-4 in the NCAA tournament against North Carolina. Mm. <laughs> you know what people in Mississippi say, CJ? Mm -mm. At least we're not from Alabama. <laughs> <laughs> Mac. I, I put myself out there a little bit this time, I, cautiously, but I assume we're on North Carolina. No. Oh, what? No. Oh, oh no. Yeah, I Let me hear it. Give me the better coach. Those, no, those no, stats no. were with Roy Williams. I think we have a big-time coaching advantage. Ooh, great Tom counter. Izzo versus Hubert Davis. I love these guards. They're freaking good in the dance, mm. and I don't trust Carolina. I think they're the most fraudulent one seed. They are. And I, 
I know it's a Carolina crowd, but that's a wine and cheese crowd. For me, Sparty. <laughs> be, I, I think Sparty's fans will be just as loud because they'll be yes. drunker. Let's go Sparty. It's Outrights. always great to hear the TCE uh, guys use Colby's uh, phrases against him. It's, uh, it's, <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this, this is going to be a 100% Carolina crowd. That's yeah. the difference in the game. We're, we're sitting wine in. We're, I don't know if we already said this uh, on the show, but we're sitting getting a sandwich yesterday. You just hear from across the restaurant. That's not a pick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> People, the fan, I mean, imagine being like, honey, I uh, met some fans. They serenaded me with my soundboard. Uh, it's beautiful. All right. So I have to, I have a difficult decision to make. Yes. What are you doing, Ryan? Uh, I'm going to side with Colby. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, Mac. wow. Oh, All wait, right. wait. No, no, you know, uh, tough Michigan guards in the calculus. Give me Michigan State. Oh, yes. little mini I, Benedict. I, I will there. say the, that is. When he said that, it did it did give me a little bit of an arousal. So I remember Noah. What are you doing? Uh, so yeah, Michigan State twenty three and seven entering the second game of a weekend uh, in the NCAA tournament. Great. Stat. However, <laughs> however, the last, <laughs> however, this is why I wanted to say it. Yes. All right. Last time they lost, they lost to Duke in Greensboro. Oh. Mm. Ooh. So I like uh, North Carolina and Charlotte. Mm, well, yeah. they're playing UNC, so I don't know if that applies. I not. just said I like North Carolina <laughs> and Charlotte. That yeah. place gets lit. Yeah, all right. All right. All right. Uh, <laughs> Tom Izzo's going to roll. You guys will be feeling silly. Uh, yeah. I'm, uh, I, that was really a tough one. For yeah, me. I'm not I, confident on it for sure. But I, th I, th I literally thought this line was going to be six and a half. Well, seven, I, though. I started you feeling know? really confident about North Carolina. And now I'm not so confident. Just a short number, I think, you got to take. Perhaps. All right, let's move along. 3.10 p.m. on the West Coast. We're heading to Omaha, Nebraska, mm. where the Washington State Cougars are mm. taking on the Iowa wow. State Cyclones. Uh, shout out to the weather pattern that Colby uh, took deep into the tournament. Hopefully they don't get taken out. <laughs> East Regional yeah. here, minus eight and a half mm. for Iowa State, minus 395 on the money line. Washington State plus 310, 127 is the total. Colby? I mean, I have Iowa State playing for the national championship, so I can't fade them. Um, but I will. I will take the eight and a half points. Washington State is is a, you know they, right now you can't pick Cougs. against the Pac-12. You're hmm. finding out in its final season there's something there, and uh, specifically what was that headline in the Washington Post? Yeah, if you're not supporting Washington State, you have no soul. Well, I have a soul, guys. All right, I will take eight and a half in Washington State. Iowa State wins by six. Oof. Yeah, where was this uh, this uh, cancer Rudy like story when we were doing the show? Cole? <laughs> yeah. I mean, come on, you, you, you know I'm you know I'm up uh, where the air's uh, you know I'm in, I'm in the shallow waters here sometimes. <sighs> I, wait, why did I not get this nugget until until literally until one minute and thirty <laughs> left in the Drake game? And he goes, <laughs> you know the guy the, made the, him feel a little the, guilty about he's, rooting he's, for Drake. He's spitting on his hospital bed for crying out loud. The, the guy you're rooting for was on his deathbed. Uh, three months ago. <laughs> oh, great for great for the gambling energy here. Uh, I was looking for a spot to fade this Iowa State team. I don't know if I don't know if Washington State can quite pull it off on the money line, but slightly better at the free throw line. Uh, they play some pretty clean ball, and they were they were uh, they were uh, pesky. I would say yeah. in that Drake game, like they did not go away. Uh, they hit some clutch shots, unlike Drake. Like Drake, you want to talk about tight buttholes? Like they've clenched up so bad. And now it's like back-to-back -back meltdowns for this Drake team, up eight late and losing outright. Uh, I'm taking Washington State in the points. I think the offensive rebounding is key. Yeah. Uh, Washington State, just a much, much better rebounding team, especially on the offensive side of the glass. And I, I see the chat saying, shout out to Bruh, who goes, Pac-12 always comes to play in the dance. Great athletes and great drugs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, West Coast is the best coast. <laughs> CJ? Yeah, I think eight and a half is a lot there. Um, I, I'm not ready to jump and fade Iowa State as much, but um, I think this line should have been around like uh, three and a half, four at the very lowest. So um, I'll definitely take Washington State with the points. I'm not going to um, spit on a dead man's face like uh, Sean Green did today. <laughs> but I, um, <laughs> I'm, I'm going down with the chef for this pack, too. I mean, you're right. There's something there. Um, they will They will fight. And they are resilient. You, you didn't know that Sean has a history. He's uh, he's he's been wishing uh, Sister Jean's death for a couple of years now. He predicted it. Yeah, <laughs> it hasn't happened yet, the, the but court, he predicted it. Yes, the court I, stormer. She will die one day. <laughs> I hate to ruin it for everyone. Spoiler alert: Sister Jean may die. 
in the, I love her, in the game. Sean, again. I have to ask you a question. Yes. What she does, are you going to tout? <laughs> I, I might. <laughs> Let's. Uh, we can reach out to Cut and see if we can get a uh, over under days. I mean, she's outlived all, right. uh, all these. She, no, think of great. all these people she's outlived over the past few years. Richard Lewis, the whole deal. <laughs> um, the, Bo the Boeing who, guy. And the, I, yeah, I was thinking she's outliving uh, Boeing mechanics. <laughs> Jeffrey Epstein. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very long list. Uh, I, all all right, so. Uh, Drake Washington State game. Washington State had an eight rebound edge. Yeah. That was the difference in the game. Mac, are we? Because I, I I think I know what side I want to be on. But what are we doing here? I love the Cougs. All right, good. You know, I, maybe yeah. I am a piece of shit because I'm laying it. Um, I think Iowa State and Houston, Ooh. the way that they play defense, the way that they trap, it's mm. a unique style. And when you're not used to seeing it mm. on a night to night basis, I don't think you can prepare for that in a short term like they're going to have to. I think if they had a week to prepare, they would be better off, but I'll lay it. Big number here. And, and, Iowa State. And you, you, you're going to be um, uh, feeling good about it if you saw the end of tonight's Iowa State game. Yeah. Um, <laughs> South Dakota State. The Jaguars were trying to backdoor that. <laughs> they were trying to. Yeah. It was a 15 and a half. It was a 17 point victory. 15 and a half. They had the possession in the corner, and they. They trapped them. It was eight seconds ago. They trapped them in the corner, got the turnover. Place went nuts. Everyone was on Iowa State. Yeah. And they were, I mean, it was amazing. They were playing lockdown defense to the very, to the gun. They're no, so fun to watch. They know what the line is, yeah. is what I'm trying to say. That's <laughs> yeah. why you got to feel good if you have the Cyclones. They had the scandal earlier. Remember the yeah, football team? absolutely. That's right. Everyone's yeah. got parlay cards on that team. <laughs> <laughs> I know. That is something to be scared about. All right. I love the Bigfoot-themed weed shop in Pullman. Go Cougs. Mm. So four ten or wait, Phoenix. do we? Dan, no. What are you doing? Uh, yeah, as one of just two guys that had Washington State in the bracket, I think. Oh, here we go. Oh, wow. Wow. I, tout, tout, tout. I am not gonna jump off the Cougs bandwagon. No. Yes. Uh, the thing, like, I watched both games, looking for positives of both. Iowa State seemed like they played with their food. To me, they blew them out. However, it was not very competitive. I was seeing sloppy play. However, Washington State was in a dogfight against Drake. Yes, they were trailing by eight in the second half, but that was the largest lead in mm -hmm. the entire game. It was basically a three, four point game, lead switching all, the, all, all throughout. I think that prepared Washington State for this Iowa State team. Uh, I'm going to take the points. The last time a team beat Drake in the NCAA tournament, they went on to make the final four. Go Cougs. All right. 4 10 p.m. on the West Coast. We're back in, or we're no, first game in Pittsburgh. Interesting. They're letting the, the Pittsburgh crowd get wasted. 14 <laughs> seed Oakland, 11 seed North Carolina State. The wrong Wolf Pack advanced. Here in the South region, we got a six-point spread. Wow, North Carolina State laying six. Minus 265 on the money line. Oakland plus 215. 147.5 is the total. Colby, can the dream continue for the Horizon League? I mean, do you want to make a lot of cash? <laughs> yes. Uh, plus, yes it plus, plus 220, I think it is, something like that. Uh, jump on over there. Look, NC State struggles with consistency. They did. They, they say, oh, they won the games in the ACC tournament. No, they had no business winning that Virginia game. That was strictly luck. Strictly luck. Louisville, too. It runs out right here. Oakland and Greg Campy, the dream lives on. All right, he's been coaching there 40 years. America's about to know who the hell he is. Let's go. He coached hard, too. CJ? He's great, but uh, it's, it's time Dundee. Oh, no. Mac and all of us. No. Submit. No. <laughs> and, and say uncle, Colby. Yeah, say uncle. Surrender, give up, and just accept the fact that NC State is going to the Final Four. <laughs> they are the Syracuse of years ago. They are they're not stopping them. They, they will win this by double digits too. And they're like, oh, they'll get fatigued. They get fatigued. <laughs> they got a three hundred pounder. They just, he's running up and down the court. I mean, they do fucking Red Bulls are nineteen. They had the week off. They get stronger as the game goes on. In overtime, they get stronger. I mean, they look they look like they're 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 just rising up. And this Oakland is what a cakewalk they have to this final four. I mean, you just you just have to admit it. Surrender. <laughs> Find a different pussy pack. You blame Nevada, okay? Because <laughs> they are the pussy pack two point yeah, right? uh, yeah. Alfred uh, muscled that yeah, NC State out for that one. This, it, well, and uh, I mean, this is a uh, one of the March Madness betting commandments: Thou shalt fade the first round upset. 
Underdogs of at least seven points that are off a straight up win as an underdog of at least six points the next game, 14 and 26 ATS. So, say, oh, yeah, sure. If you think Oregon, I mean, if you think Oakland, St. Peter's, uh, I mean, get them in the Final Four. Let's get some. I will say, I I was trying to see who I wanted to pair Oakland with, and I was deciding between. Sanford and uh, NC State and Max like no way NC State just absolutely no way and he liked Kansas but, I, but I'll but i tolerate a Sanford play <laughs> he's like even though I like Kansas that game so I, I was bullied out of taking NC State in that parlay well, I, I believe Fairleigh Dickinson covered that second round matchup last year against FAU too huh? yeah, I yeah think it's Princeton right. Princeton last year yeah yeah because I remember it's it just, a lot of examples I, this trend is yeah. is going down yeah. because the college basketball world's changing yeah I remember just being so boiled over about Tobin Anderson. I think that was another reason why I was. <laughs> uh, can, all right, uh, boiled if we over. Can, can Everyone's shitting Oliver Shaw's number. He pulled up. He was so proud of it. I, I was. <laughs> I had a good, really good I liked it. I'd like, to, I'd like to have. Some, I mean, Noah boiling over yes. feels like that's a graphic. <laughs> <laughs> Mac, what are we doing? I'm go- I'm dying on this hill. Give me Oakland. <laughs> um, and, and, and I'll go with the coaching here. They, that, 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 that fucked up one one three zone one three one whatever it is. The matchup that's, zone. That's a hard thing to prepare for in less than forty eight hours. I don't trust Kevin Keats. He just got a contract extension. He just fucking pulled an NCAA tournament game out of his ass. I gotta fade the. Uh, the back. Oakland uh, guy know? shooting the three was ten for twenty. They were banking him in from the side. Uh, they were I mean, banking him in from the side. Oh, no, but some of those were wet. Now he yeah. did get a. He did get a. There was <laughs> well, charity. When you make, there was a friendly when you make ten and two of them bank in, are, are two of them lucky, no, but eight I, of them are hey, good. We yeah, all right? love Oakland. We're all on the money line. What also? What do you think those players are doing tonight? Did you see them in the hallway? <laughs> yeah, I know. They were like three sixty. They dug the game. Gatorade, NC State. Right. But clearly, you don't realize what NC State does, though, every time. I mean, NC State historically, football, well, basketball, baseball. Right? Every NC State about, fan are you, are you is. about the ACC champion, NC State Wolfpack? Well, this what is the do? one they lose, though, because this is the one they should win. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good point. They are. This is the time, first time they've been favored. In every. Probably, what, a month? Yeah. Every yeah. NC State fan is certainly watching the Jimmy Valvano 30 for 30 tonight. Mm. Uh, re- oh, they're, 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 they just need four. They're almost, it's the same thing. They had to run through the ACC then. They're running through. Uh, I, would, I, I, I would like to add a, a note here that the, one of the weaknesses to NC State is how lazy they are at defending the three-point line. Mm. Mm. They just played Texas Tech, and Texas Tech could not hit a three-pointer. Oakland... They're hot. Yeah. It's the same arena. It's the same sight lines. I get, he's not going to go 10 for 20 again. Yeah, he's going to go 12 for 20. But, <laughs> but that same matchup exists. And I, I think if Texas Tech shoots a normal percentage from three, this is a completely different game. Uh, so I, I'm also going to be on Oakland. I believe. And, and shout out to our guy, Banksy, down at the Circa. Yes, nephew. We got, we got to go thank him for that money line. Yes. Uh, yeah. Absolutely. So uh, I'm on officially NC State minus the six. No, what do you got? All right, I'm a very superstitious guy. I really want Oakland to win. However, I did not pick them to win against Kentucky, but I took the point. So I'm doing the exact same thing. However, Kramer has my exact handicap. I really think that NC State is a much worse version than Kentucky, and they have the same issues as Kentucky. Mm. I like Oakland. Yes. I'm taking the points and no money line. Oh, I, I, it's very hard. For, I, was, I was having this moment where I was realizing that uh, for whatever level of donkey it makes me, very difficult for me to. It's Dominic the Donkey. When, when I'm here for March Madness, and I'm. T- it's, this is completely. It's Dominic the This is completely. Uh, you fucking Irish son of a bitch. <laughs> it, it's different in football, but when I'm here for March Madness, I have to bet the money line. And the spread. I can't just do the spread on one of these. It, it's, uh, it's a curse. Especially today. It's Dominic the Donkey. Shout out to Italians everywhere. Mm. All right. Game number five. Uh, even the ones swimming with the fishes, as they say. 5 p.m. on the West Coast. We're back in Charlotte. We got Tennessee and Texas. Is it going to be hard to tell their uniforms apart? The, the oh. Barnes Bowl. The, the Barnes Bowl. Uh, no look ahead for Texas. Looking towards a uh, little revenge with Rick Barnes here. Yeah. Tennessee, the two seed out of the Midwest, is laying six minus 270 on the money line. Texas plus 220. 148 is the total. 
Boy, Tennessee looked good. Mm. I know they didn't play much, but Tennessee looked pretty good to me. Colby, I assume we're horns downing. I think so, because I think Tennessee's going to have this crowd. Yeah. Uh, and Barnes, you saw that. I think they played last year in the uh, in the uh, SEC Big 12 Challenge, and I think Tennessee got them. Uh, and but I just think te- that Tennessee's a better team. Texas, yes, uh, we took Colorado State. We all lost on that. But Texas, oh, man, is you want a, to talk about yeah. not being able to hit a shot? That Colorado State <laughs> offense, everyone made fun of Virginia. They put up 11 points in the first half. And I think Virginia rambled off on them. That's how bad Virginia stink is. When yeah. you play them, you absorb <laughs> something. You, know, that's, that's how right. you don't need a, it. You it could make a, baskets to win a game. Right. Uh, I, I mean, I personally drink bottled water when I'm in Charlottesville, but I can't speak for the UVA <laughs> team. <laughs> no, uh, but I'm with Colby. I'm taking Tennessee. Yeah, I, I just think. Uh, Tennessee, you know, we, we clearly saw Colorado State. Yes, they missed a lot of open shots that could have got them back in the game. But Texas just has a better roster. And I think that was the, the real difference in the game. Like, Texas has elite athletes. Tennessee does too. And Tennessee has veterans. So I think Tennessee will be able to, uh, you know, really be able to score a lot better than Colorado State. Both teams play, play good defense. So, uh, if anything, Tennessee is the better defensive team. Uh, and that's all the difference to me. I will take Rick Barnes minus mm. six. Horns down. Well, and you saw Tennessee struggle going up against a good Colorado State defense, and Tennessee's defense is better than Colorado State, so mm. I think it's going to be a tough offensive uh, game for Texas. CJ, what are you doing? I think it's too many points. Mm. I mean, Texas looked ba- Texas looked uh, bad. Tennessee looked great, so I, I, I expect to uh, bounce back and switch. I think this game's going to be a battle. The Barnes, I think the uh, the Barnes, not just Barnes, as Mac pointed out today. I don't want to steal your thunder, but uh, the assistant coach on there, the point guard. Oh yeah, T.J. Ford. T.J. Ford. There's a double revenge going on there with the Texas. What I love, but I think you know, I just don't trust Barnes anyway. I just supposed to when he's a one or two seed, but I th- I like this. I don't mind this Texas team. They look terrible today. I know. But I think I think this is going defense to, look good though. They defense yeah. did look good, and yeah. I think they will muck it up. You know, I can trust a Tennessee. I, I don't trust Tennessee to lay more than six and a half. I think this is a two possession game either way. Um, I don't know if the money line. I think Tennessee will gut out a victory, but I'll t- I'll take the points with Texas. T.J. Ford and Lamarcus Aldridge, right? Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah, that was final one of those four. one of the Brick Barnes fuck ups, right? Yeah, he got to the final four. But they got the right. final that, four. That was right. their that was their uh, his finest moment. Mm-hmm. All right, Mac, what are we doing here? Man, I. I kind of struggle with this one. I, I'm going to take Texas in the point. No. I agree with CJ. I think there's a lot of pressure on Barnes in this spot. Mm-hmm. Um, he's playing as his former assistant, Roddy Terry. Um, a lot of familiarity. I think it's, I think it's a uh, rock fight. Low-scoring mm. game. Both, yeah. both staffs know each other. Colby mentioned it. They've played twice since Barnes got there. They've split. Give me, uh, give me Tennessee to win by three or four, so I'll take the points with uh, the Horns. No. Horns up? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He's a Big 12 expert. I don't yeah. know if you know. Get, this will be the final time because right. they'll join the SEC after this, so it'll be back to this. Take the hook with the horns. Yeah. <laughs> Six in the hook. Hook them. Noah? Yeah, for me, this is the most alarming number from the cocktail napkin for the second round here. <laughs> it's been out at a minus two and a half on the Vols. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think this number is set pretty high, mm-hmm. uh, much to CJ's point, and I think that is because of the public perception right. of really? Tennessee. The offense is much better this year. Dalton Connect is a national player of the year, runner-up, only behind Zach Eady, of course. But uh, I, I think the public kind of likes this Tennessee team. That might um, be fair, but I also think the home edge is for some of that number. I, I like Texas yeah. getting the two possessions. Uh, Texas would have to attack the teeth of the defense uh, for Tennessee. It's it's kind of a strength-on-strength strength situation. And uh, meanwhile, on the other side, Tennessee – they're going right against that lazy Texas three-point defense, so I'm gonna. It's it it it's a it's a well-crafted handicap, but I just keep ending up on the favorites. I I I'm not not exactly not not exactly sure why. All right, horns down. We got two more to go. 8:40 p.m. on the East Coast, but 5:40 in Las Vegas. Sean, we will be uh, doing our our pre-show ritual. Uh, where we sprint around the circuit to get the blood flowing before we go live on Sports Gambling Live at 6 p.m. on the West Coast. This is Saturday, Ryan. Oh, damn it. it is. I was going to say, is this for the daughters' uh, soccer? No, I was. I, was I, 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 made a, I made a mental note to plug Beeson. <laughs> yeah, well, that's good. And it's I got ahead Friday. of myself. Uh, on Saturday, mm-hmm. no, I, I don't have any soccer on Saturday, right. so I will have a nice, relaxing, nice. Uh, maybe nap uh, nice. during this one. Duquesne, Illinois, in Omaha. 
Duquesne is, I mean, I assume we all know where CJ is going to be on this. And by the way, we didn't talk about it earlier, but CJ screaming day, day mm. uh, at, at the TVs mm. as mm. Duquesne was taking care of business. Give was, the was ball to day, 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 day. Uh, we got Duquesne catching nine and a half here, CJ. So we're back into juicy money line territory. <laughs> Plus 340, minus 440 coming back the other way. 149 is the total. What are we doing, Colby? We're, we're, Don't get caught up with the uh, the love story. No, we got to do this because Underwood has a history of losing this game. He does. Like, I understand Illinois is really talented. Yeah. But uh, do I need to bring up the fact, hey, you, you don't have to go that far back. Uh, they lost to Houston in 2022 in the second round, and they should have lost in the first round to Chattanooga. Mm. Um, and then the year before that, it was Loyola Chicago after they had beaten Drexel. They get to the second round, Loyola Chicago gets them. You go back even further than that, they just had, this has been where they lose. You know, I know it wasn't Underwood, but prior to that, 2000, the last times they made the NCAA tournament, they lose in the second round. Um, I, I just think it's a great opportunity. Dan Bot, it, this is a magical run right now. This is something he's, he's announced his retirement. Um, you know, to, to, Sean, so you know, he's retiring, and he, he said because his wife has cancer, so we can jump in on this great story. Okay, the right? Duquesne guy? Duquesne's head coach yep. is right. retiring. His wife has cancer. That's why Calipari might, might take his job. Absolutely. Like really, yes. really uh, putting a lot of pressure for me to get in on <laughs> Illinois here. <laughs> uh, and and I, I just think, like, Illinois. Call them the hospice. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. And Illinois, if you look at the, the game today, I thought, yes, they opened it up late and had a great second half, but I, I definitely saw some stuff that makes me makes me question if they'll be able to do it. We, we talked about Duquesne and their guard play, and it's going to be fascinating to watch this matchup because I, I think it'll be I, I think it just it, it should be some of the best guards going at it as far as the remaining games on, on the weekend slate for Saturday and Sunday. Uh, I'm going to take the points. Illinois may win, but I think it's too many points for a coach that's failed at this spot too many times. Yeah, I'm with you. I'll take Duquesne plus nine. Uh, I know there's a very, uh, there's a very uh, health issue that the team uh, coach's wife is dealing with. It's inspiring the players. And technically when we picked, uh, well, I picked BYU on the show, they were only laying nine. So it doesn't qualify for my fun little trend of double digit dogs. So I'm okay to take Duquesne. I, I'm still skeptical of this Illinois team. Like maybe I'll, maybe I'm crazy, but I, I know they looked really good uh, today. But in I'm, I'm gonna fade them in the second half. In the first it's half, true. They didn't yeah, look they, that didn't, great. they didn't yeah. look amazing in the first half. Uh, nine is too much for these Dukes. Let's go. Yep, it's way too much. I mean, when would when would people learn with this Duquesne squad? <laughs> I mean, it's it's not just been this tournament. It's been the last month and a half. They've been hot. You know, they're a completely different team. In the way on Notre defense, and they guard that three point line. It's the same similar matchup as it was with BYU today, you know, so, with their offense. And even though BYU did uh, miss a lot, but it was a lot of defensive guard. And they had, they, when they finally went inside, of course, that's what they work with the size. Now, Illinois' offense does wear you down. That is for sure. But, but Duquesne brings some, a certain thing. When you fade them, as you did on every round of the Atlantic 10 tournament <laughs> when, I tried to, when, I, when I tried to tell you, Duquesne brings the pain. There we go. And it's time to go to the Palumbo <laughs> Center. Nine and a half is a crazy number. I, I see this as a four or five point game as well. And um, when you look for upsets with, with good teams <sighs> like Kentucky today, Illinois is very similar with an amazing offense but terrible defense. I mean, once you get cold, and that's when these upsets happen. So I will be sprinkling a little bit on Duquesne money line. I think they have a doubt right. They, they will be in this game no matter what. People waiting for them to get tired as well, just like NC State. It's not happening with these kids. They keep getting stronger and better, and they believe in no. themselves. And like I said, they're playing for a purpose. So nine and a half is – I mean, it's not crazy, but give, give me that all day. First win since 1969 in the NCAA tournament. And I, don't nice. know if you, I don't know if you've uh, heard this, but the coach is actually going to retire to mm. help take care of his, his wife who has cancer. So <sighs> – Maybe another reason we we want to root for him. Win one for the Dukies. Seventy-seven. Norm Nixon was in the building today. That, 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 that bit failed. Jo really. Joe Spencer, though. <laughs> Joe, Joe Spencer in the chat. It. Shout out to him. He goes definitely consider Duquesne, especially first half, because the Illini have had have started slow in a lot of games this year. Yeah. All right. Sorry, uh, Mac. I, I don't want to. I'll I'll go last here because I feel like I know I'm going to hit this one out of the park. Mac, what are we doing? Yeah, uh, I'm piggyback off Colby and and CJ with uh, just. This, this is where Underwood has lost in the tournament. Yep. The second round, he struggles. Um, and I thought they, they shot, shot, shot the crap out of the ball today. So I think a little regression, and mm. they're not a good defensive team. So Terrible. give me Duquesne to keep this thing close and have a shot to win. Yeah. 
going. And Buchanan, as you they said, also looked great today. It's not like that was, that was a fluke. I mean, they no, they controlled the game. They were the better team today. Yeah. Duquesne, one of my prouder dog calls as well as CJ. I didn't really – I listened to a lot of shows. I didn't really hear anybody speaking for Duquesne. Everybody's like, this team <laughs> this team is this team is overseeded. Like, yep. what, what are we doing here? BYU, B, uh, there uh, should be a five seed. Um, and we called for it on the Instant Reaction show. We called for it on uh, Bombs show. We mm-hmm. called for it on the Tuesday show on SGP. We called it for the Tuesday show at the bar. We called it for the Bracket show. Um, I even said on the Instant Reaction show, I think this Duquesne squad has enough talent offensively, and they have the defensive prowess to get to the Final Four and have a little bit of a Cinderella run, and that was prior to – uh, you know, I don't know if you guys have heard, but uh, Coach Keith Dambrot is retiring mm. because his wife. <laughs> nice job. Uh, no, no, uh, well, clock uh, violation, so, Ryan. No, this is, that, that was. <laughs> so no, we're going that, with the Dukes. That's the funniest. That's one of the funniest jokes Noah's ever very, pulled up. It was very dry. Uh, it was very dry. It was a great beautiful. joke. Yes. Uh, th- thou shalt <laughs> fade the first round upset. Maybe you forgot, Sean. Oh, wow. Underdogs of at least seven points. Oh, it's seven. I thought it was double digits. Uh, underdogs of at least seven points who are off a straight up win as an underdog of six points or more mm. is a fade. We and we even said last year that trend was bad. Three and O ATS the other way, so they're due. Mm. And you're probably wondering, well, but wait a second, uh, Ryan. Earlier in this show, you took Washington State. Yes. Mm. Uh, sorry, not Wash. Uh, what? Who was the other dog? Oakland. Oakland. Well, mm. Oakland's only a six-point dog, so mm. it does not meet the criteria. No, six. I thought it was six points the second time. Six-point dog in the first round, seven-point dog in the, in, in, the, in the second round. First round, six points. Second round, seven points. It's a silly trend, but we've been on it for a while, Sean. You should be paying attention. So, unfortunately, I want this, a dick rub. I'd also add. Ray, you could just get your pick. This feels on. like a three-card money game. I swear you just switched the numbers just five <laughs> seconds ago. I, maybe I, maybe seven I in the first it. round. No, no, it's... It's when you're off a win as no. a I'm, – I'm done with it. Anyway, no, it, it, meets, it meets the trend. And w- I would say <laughs> we watched Illinois take the absolute best shot that they could have taken from Moorhead, and it, didn't, it did nothing. Okay, so, so I misread this because what it says underdogs of at least seven points that are off a straight-up win as an underdog of at least six points. So oh, okay. there you go. Correct. Kramer is right. What if the wrong team was favored? Like today, what yes. Should, yes, they See, were getting ten points, but I, I like where your head's right. at. But Duquesne obviously Duquesne should, have been favored should have been by, favored by four and a half easily. Yeah, for sure. Well, uh, yes, day day. All right, uh, I'm I'm taking Illinois. It's it's disgusting, but I can't help but remember when Noah gave me that hot tip that they were going to win the Big I mean, Ten regular shoots, season. And Sean, you would love that. Day day shoots ninety five percent from the free throw line Swish. as a man of the free throws, and Let's they did go. creative things to get him to ball towards the end there when they, when they needed the free throws. And he actually went down to ninety four because he did miss one in the VCU game. Last game, <laughs> Midwest Region eleven three matchup six forty p.m. on the West Coast, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Mm-hmm. Or Pittsburgh gets to see a, a couple uh, 11 seeds, a 14 seed and a three seed. Oregon, Creighton, Creighton laying five and a half, minus 245 on the money line. Oregon plus 200, 147 is the total. Colby? Um, I mean, I love this spot as long as uh, – what, what, what's, a, what's a food in, in Pittsburgh? Because I feel like in finally Dante, high chance of diarrhea, not going to be able to play this uh, game. Well, you got a okay. permani per- per- yeah. sandwich yeah. or a pierogi. Uh, you can do, do all kinds of yenzer uh, food. So sure. much butthole talk. <laughs> Fries on oh, sandwich. He's just always oh, injured. I'm paranoid per on – uh, sure. uh, Fries and uh, a sandwich, uh, permani's for sure. That'll, yeah. that'll do the trick every time. Yeah. Calipari's having one night. That's where he's hanging out in Pittsburgh oh, tonight. Oh, that's oh, his oh. loss. Sorry, coach. That's I got why the you got to be terrified. And finally, Dante, he's used to being in Eugene, Oregon. Yeah. Uh, eating sprouts and stuff. So right. he's out there in Pittsburgh. Um, but I, I, I look, I, I, Creighton looked really good. Yeah. But Oregon is, I, you said NC State? Right. I think it's Oregon. <sighs> I think Oregon's oh, yeah, that team sure. that's going to the Absolutely. Final Four. They're the West Coast yeah. Michigan State. They don't not care at all about the regular season. They're hilarious. Dana just, Altman does this too many yeah. times for me. I'll take the Ducks. Uh, I, I like a, a possible money line sprinkle here too, just because I think they're in another gear. I know if you pull up, I know if you pull up the numbers, you know it, it's all diluted because Oregon in the regular season was complete ass. Mm. So uh, you know, I, I give me the Ducks right now. They're they're hot. They're the team I think the whole tournament should look out for. Mm. 
What do you say the number was again? I'm sorry. Five and a half, right? Five and a half. Yeah. Okay. Also, for what it's worth, I mean, and follow Dante can't sit out because, I mean, it is the NCAA tournament. Yeah. Before, if he gets chopped in the throat or just touched, <laughs> he might miss two or three games. And that is the reason why they have been so inconsistent this year. They haven't uh, been healthy. Yeah, man, I really hate this Oregon team. I don't know why. Mm. It, it, you know, losing you lost money. Against, losing yeah. money against a guy that's just this doughy, soft <laughs> pussy is so frustrating. Creighton is really good at the free throw line. They're gonna roll. Give me Creighton minus five and a half. I still think they're fraudulent. Maybe Colby's right. Maybe we shouldn't. Um, you know, keep fading the Pac-12 here. But I. I I didn't see a lot of toughness out of that team. And Creighton can shoot the lights out. They're great from the line. I think this is how you beat this Oregon team. So, yeah, give me Creighton laying the five and a half. I know. CJ, uh, what are you doing? We were talking today Fun about stuff, We were talking about a Sparty Oregon money line parlay today. Mm-hmm. It's, it just seems right. It just yeah. seems tournament right. But the more I think about it, I've, I'm, I'm with you too, Sean. I've lost money down the stretch with Oregon. Their offense goes in funk sometimes. And they've changed since they got the big man down low. But, I mean, I just don't think that at the end of the day they'll have enough offense to keep up with Creighton. When Creighton is hitting their shots, they, they, can, they can jump on you in a hurry. But if they're missing, they lose games like this. And they lost to Colorado State. And, and, and away, and, UNLV, and away yeah. from home, they do miss. And that's what happens with jump shooting teams. But at the same time, I don't think Oregon will have enough to put them away. They'll grind it out for them. So I think you're always in. You'll always be in it with Creighton. And I think they do express. So that's a low number. I, I don't mind taking. I think this line should be uh, upward of seven or eight. Mac, I love the Ducks. Mm. Um, also, a coaching uh, nugget here: Dana Altman, head yeah. coach of the Creighton Blue Jays. From 95 to 2010. Yes. Eight, eight NCAA tournaments. Last couple times he's had to win the Pac-12. He's gone on as a 12 seed or 11 seed, gotten to the Sweet 16. They do it again. All the, all the pressure in the world on Creighton mm-hmm. with this team, the last run. Altman dethrones him outright. Ducks. Noah. I'm right there with Mac. Um, I don't know if you guys have heard this guy named Stephen Curry, mm-hmm. uh, but the last time that does a... he have cancer? <laughs> no, no <laughs> cancer yet. So no. He's not a part of the handicap. Right. The uh, the last time that a yeah, guard it's says. <laughs> <laughs> the last time that a guard from a double digit seated team put up forty points hmm. was by Stephen Curry of Davidson, mm-hmm. Jermaine Kuznard. Put up forty, but today, that was you know, that was a South revenge Carolina. game against South Carolina. In my mind, you're almost making a point for Creighton that Quasinart or uh, Quasinart, whatever the, <laughs> whatever you call the coffee maker, uh, he's he's not going to get up for this game again like that. Uh, Quiznos, Quiznos, clear your snorkeling mask, Sean. Oh, what you you know how to pronounce his name properly? Well, that's why you do the pronunciating. <laughs> <laughs> call him the coffee maker, or what do you call him, the dicer? What does what does Cuisinart make? Uh, a little, little chop action, maybe. Slap chop. Uh, Kramer, you're taking Oregon because Mac told you to. I am taking Oregon. It is. I, I will say I have the more I, I uh, am around Mac and watching him handicap. He has a soft spot for a good coaching edge. Oh yeah. You girls like uh, uh, college basketball handicap? Oh wow. <laughs> we just got flashed. <laughs> I, I mean. <laughs> Uh, uh, hello. Wait, can we get a zoom in on Noah right now? <laughs> she so, likes Fairly Dickens. Yeah, oh yeah. Uh, hey, She's girl, all ladies, over. come back. We have a dick expert She's, in here. You want to? You want to talk Longwood? Place tomorrow, right? Yeah. She yeah, took. She, she took Moorhead's biggest shot. <laughs> I, I, let me, let me take face. you up to the room, honey. I got a long wood <laughs> handicap for tomorrow. Uh, long. God. The, I, fa- the phallic trend is also due. Yeah, you mm-hmm. like you like Tom Izzo because of his coaching edge. Why not Dana Altman? As Mac pointed out, he has a ton of success. Shame on us for not locking them up. He's never lost in the first round. Yeah. I have them to reach the Sweet 16 at 5-1. to one. So, obviously, a bet here would be silly, and it would just eat into my amazing CL via that bet. That being said, give me the points. Give me Oregon. Quack, quack, oh, motherfuckers. Yeah. Right, right to bare arms, too. Shout out to Oregon. Hey, right. let's uh, let's talk a little Hall of Fame bets. Head over to hofbets.com. Use that promo code SGP and get fifty percent off your first month over at Hall of Fame Bets. They got you covered. Uh, NBA. They got uh, college basketball. The college basketball product is live, helping you optimize some parlays, uh, player prop stuff. If you're getting into that, uh, and I think you can, also if you're looking to get some sharp entries in underdog, I would recommend using hofbets.com, downloading the app. Again, producer Josh hit a 10, 12, and another 10 
uh, or, or sorry, plus 1,000, plus 1,200, and plus 1,000 parlays that he built over on hofbets.com using the promo code SGPN. 50% off your first month. All right, we got we to gotta get over, talk to those girls that were flashy. Noah, uh, Ryan, what do you got? Give us two locks and a dog. A lock number one, dog. Gonzaga. Hmm. Lock number two, Arizona. Dog. <laughs> Make my dog a duck. Mm. Quack. Mm. Quack. And uh, you bet your ass I'm going to do some sort of Pac-12 parlay tomorrow. We'll, we'll, we'll craft it at the end. All right. For me, let's see. Oh, man. I really like. Uh... <sighs> Is everything all right? Yeah. The girl's no. got, a, got. I mean, I'm still blown away that her first instinct when she saw our beautiful faces was to f- flash her right Take her breast. top down. It was very um, inappropriate. This is the classy she, establishment. He's looking I mean, at breastfeed. Can you imagine if a man pulled his dick out right now? <laughs> well, <laughs> we are, he would be face down getting we are, beaten we are, by a bunch of cops. We are hanging out with uh, Dick Olson, who was probably like one drink away from doing that. Uh, hey, you guys want to see my butthole? <laughs> uh, for my dog, Michigan State on the money line. Mm. I also like a little uh, Michigan State, Washington State money line parlay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put that down here. Um for my uh, locks, oh, this is tough, but uh, I do like Arizona a lot. You know what? I'm going to take Tennessee minus six. You know what? No, no, no. <laughs> Gonzaga minus three and a half. I'm trying not to copy Ryan's locks here. No. My locks are good. Yeah, and then They are good. I'm going to go Gonzaga minus three and a half, Tennessee minus six. That oh. feels pretty Horns good. Horns down. Colby? Uh, Gonzaga is the lock. Um, oh. I have a future on them in yeah. the final four. So, it's your future. Um, yes, and uh, I am from the future. I am also locking up North Carolina in Charlotte. Mm. Izzo, that magic don't work. <laughs> All right. The dog. Quack. 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 Now, I, I do think Duquesne is live, too, and Oakland, of course, but I just think the best play is Oregon. You've seen this team on this run. I know the bet detective was talking about NC State. And, and their magical run, right? And he told me to submit. I disagree. Yeah. I think the Ducks, you need to submit <laughs> to the Ducks going to the Final Four, perhaps. I agree. Yeah, I am, I am stubborn with Oregon, that's for sure. Because they, they did the, 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 the evil sin that we were talking about towards the end of the year where they would uh, win and not cover with like a, a line of one and a half or yeah. two or three. <laughs> Have the decency to lose outright or cover. <laughs> Nothing in this in-between crap like Kansas tonight. You don't do that. <laughs> CJ, two locks and a dog. Uh, Gonzaga ha- is the lock of all oh, locks. No. And I will not copy the Arizona, although I do love Arizona. But you, you, Colby just reminded me of NC State is an absolute smash and berry play <laughs> over Oakland on the ultimate letdown spot. This is old hat for NC State. They're just on the way up. They got Final <laughs> Four dreams. Are you kidding me? And with, there's, there's only one dog on the board, of course, that's going to win. Duquesne. Duquesne brings the pain. You don't bring it to Palumbo Center. They, they're Hansy superstar who, under court <laughs> orders, will be out there. Under uh, <laughs> the coach, coach said he is conflicted when asked about if he wants to play. Um, I, I won't throw the R word around there, but he's, he's, he's grabby, if you will. And uh, it just happens that he averages 30 a game, so why not put him out there? He is the best player in the country. But at the same time, <laughs> Duquesne, what do we do? I mean, what are we doing? When will they learn? Don't fade the A10. I did. I did. He, CJ yeah. was walking around the uh, theater going, <laughs> "They the disrespect for the A10. You guys all down yeah. them. Absolutely. A little bit of Mac there with your uh, conference pride. Atlantic, oh, 10, yeah. Atlantic 10 showed out today. Dayton come Good day. Yeah. Uh, Mac, what do you got? Two locks and a dog. All right. Let's keep it simple. We're gonna fade the comebacks. Uh, Dayton, good story. Mm-hmm. Arizona, blowout, smash. Yes. Lock it up. Yep. Uh, Wazoo, great story as well. Smash. Iowa State, lock it up, mm. smash. And quack, quack for my dog outright. And, you know, I'll go a little Izzo Altman parlay yes. as well. A little yes. bonus dog. Yes, so yes. coaching matters this time of year, baby. Noah. I am going to lock up Gonzaga. Mm-hmm. Uh, seems like everybody's doing that. I'm also going to lock up Duquesne catching the points. Ooh. For my dog, I could go Duquesne, I could go Oakland, I could go Oregon. Everybody's throwing out these. So the one team that you're not going to hear on any other show is that the Washington State Cougars are live to beat Let's the Iowa go. State Cyclones. Good luck. Let's go. The show. We got to right. get uh, Noah to the Coug. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm. You love it. Uh, so I like a parlay Michigan State 
Washington State money line parlay. Kramer, you got a uh, parlay you want to close out with? Uh, I, I do like a little Pac-12 action here. Uh, Arizona, Oregon, oh. an honorary member, Gonzaga. Mm. Uh, do we do we do Oregon and the points? All these are with the points, right? Yeah. Yeah. The dogs that are hitting tomorrow parlay Oakland, NC State. This is the game NC State always loses. No NC State, and know that they're always cowards. Oakland and Greg Campy parlay that with the Ducks money line mm. on both. See you at the winner's circle. This is CJ, this is a close it out. That's absolutely crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Um, we, I got a slot machine to get. Yeah, yeah. Come on. I'll give you a big juicy money line parlay. Get those Duquesne Dukes and and hook them up with those Texas Longhorns. Get a sure one there. Who are we kidding? Ten all of a sudden, Tennessee's back because they because they ran off of goddamn St. Peter's team. Get me out of here with Rick Barnes. This this team can't wait to choke. I know. They can't wait to choke and fall apart. Give me Texas all day. I'm going to switch my uh, Tennessee to Arizona minus nine <laughs> for my lock. Hey, CJ made some good points there. I, I don't want any part of this, Rick Barnes. All right. Hey, thank you, everyone, for tuning in. Make sure you smash that subscribe button. Check out the college basketball experience. Check out the bottom line bombs with CJ Sullivan. Uh, big thanks to everyone here at the Wind Studios hooking it up. And uh, tune in to our VEASAN show tomorrow night, 6 o'clock Pacific, 9 o'clock East, VEASAN.com. Thank you for participating in the Sports Gambling Podcast. And uh, Merch Madness, promo code MADNESS, 15% off everything, including Man the Box shirts. For the Sports Gambling Podcast, I'm Sean Stacking the Money Green. He's Ryan. I just learned that Duquesne is named after a French Canadian. Uh, it's a French name. Let it <laughs> ride. At least you didn't say Duquesne. People like saying that up top. Well, if I was phonetically.